the fifth festival to uh, present and pitch is International Kizake Short Film Festival, and it's presented by Arya Su Altiokler from Turkey. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, uh, thank you for coming at this early hour, and uh, thank you, Torino short film market to invite us. It's a great opportunity to actually listen other film festivals, meet with them, it's really nice. Uh, I'm Arya, uh, I'm the founder and the festival director of International Kazakhstan like Short Film Festival. Uh, I'm also directing, producing and writing short films, feature films and drama series. Uh, greater than that, the drama series project that I created with Kazakhstan production. Uh, selected for TV series Festival Berlin and Cinelink that won the Best Drama Series Award this year. Uh, so uh, I also have a talent campus that I'm promoting Turkish and Middle Eastern actors and actresses to US and European productions. So this is uh, generally me. Uh, Kasekes was founded by young short filmmakers that share the same passion for discovering the new perspectives of cinema. In 2010, uh, we started as a uh, short film competition for high school students that we wanted to turn it up uh, into an international short film festival in 2015. Uh, actually, uh, we are introducing and uniting short film makers across the globe for a week that they can join workshops, master classes, labs, uh, networking events, and the pitching platform that we are trying to support short film projects starting from pre-production phase to festival circuit distribution. Uh, we are collaborating with Sarajevo Film Festival for our pitching platform that they have the eligibility to make their premieres in one of the most important events of Southern Europe. Um, Kasekes started when I was 16. I was in high school uh, with young filmmakers uh, as a group. And uh, on those years, internet was that, uh, not that much developed and we were only be able to show our works to our classmates and parents. So we said that why not, maybe there are some people like us. So we started. Uh, and uh, it was impossible to actually get into big film festivals. So Kaseki is, is made by and for young filmmakers actually, and we want to highlight the artistic concerns of the young talents and try to open up new ways by passing the uh, today's rules and system rules actually. Uh, like in Turkey, uh, if you want to study in cinema major as a high school student in university, you should take the regular tests, the regular university test. What we innovate by Kasakes is we are giving uh, actual scholarships to the high school students that uh, their artistic labor is considered by this way, so they can be eligible to study cinema. Another way of pass uh, passing the rules of the system is we are trying to democratize the cinema in, in interior and exterior phases. Uh, interiorly, in our organization, uh, it's actually, uh, we don't have a hierarchy system that the, all the team members has equal chance to be involved in the uh, festival, so all the ideas are voted, and even if the festival director thinks in different way, uh, the initial decision is made by the festival team, uh, contrary to today's ruling system, actually, and uh, our team involves into other film festivals and in production companies, so that they're, uh, they're in the Turkish film industry, and um, actually we are preparing uh, we are filmmakers that are preparing a platform for other filmmakers which cause uh, circulation in the industry and it's, the team is full of like, teachers and students that these roles are changeable. Exterior phase is that we are t trying to equalize the appearance of the young filmmakers and the film professionals and uh, we are trying to meet with them with the film pro professionals in international areas uh, for our competition selection, we are just accepting under five minute films and uh, under 27 aged film uh, directors. We are trying to be harmonized with today's rhyme, today's instant world. And democratizing is really important about our selection taste. We don't have any technical requirements so that 
the idea is the most important part in our selections. We are uh, getting other films under 15 minutes to other selections, but they are not for the competition part, actually. And our pre-jury, which is uh, basically from uh, 20, uh, tw 25 people, uh, that they are getting uh, ed educated by film critics and film analysis. We are splitting into different groups. So the control groups gives us healthy results about our selection. Uh, all the films are watched at least three times. Uh, so, and we don't have any submission fee. I wanna show you a video about Kiseka, so you will be able to see what is happening. like this. Uh, this one week helps most important prizes creating actually promising images and uh, bringing those uh, promising images directors uh, to Istanbul which is the one of the most intercultural bridges of the world and to have fun and give fun actually. Uh, we are supplying travel and accommodation co costs for a week for the, uh, all the finalists. Uh, and we are not getting any support from government and we won't as long as we are the decision makers of the selections and we won't let any censorship to be made. And of course we are also in an economic crisis, Euro is seven times more nowadays in Turkey. It's getting really hard to fulfill our budget, but we have shorts and energy, we are sleeping a bit less and it is sold because we are not aiming to make any money from the short film festival. And uh, what we aim is cross all the cultural and system-based borders with cinema, basically, and uh, doing this with our democratizing, democratizing process and try to implement by producing and showcasing, showcasing short films of the next generation vision to every digital and physical platform. And uh, doing art is more than ever uh, hard in Turkey and all around the world. So actually, we believe that Kasekes is a, such a window to raise our vo voices in terms of cinema. And uh, we would like to inspire the world with the young filmmakers. And uh, we want to share their goodwill to all around the world to make the world a better place. Thank you. Thank you, Arya. So, uh, thank you, Aria, again. Uh, nice to see a friend of mine in the jury, Paolo Bertolin. Must be a really good festival then, I think. And um, the next one, we go very far away from here. We go to Canada, exactly to Quebec, to Rega, Festival International du Coup Métrage au Signe. And to talk about it, we welcome Melissa Bouchard. Welcome. <laughs> Hello, 
microphone, yeah. So, um, thanks for being here. My name is Melissa Bouchard, head of programming for Regard Sangni International Short Film Festival. Regard was founded in 1995 by a small group of film graduates. At this time in Quebec, there were few festivals and they were especially concentrated in the largest cities like Montreal and Quebec. So this gang, fresh out of film school, quickly realized that making movies was good, but it doesn't make sense if nobody sees them. Then they created Regard, which quickly became Regard sur le cours, the first short film festival in Quebec. It works, yeah. For 22 years, our mission has been to have the short film recognized as an art in, it, in its own right. So not only reducing it to be a springboard for feature film. For us, short is cinema, like feature film is. In terms of event, we screen around 200 shorts and welcome more than 450 guests over five days. Our programming have five main sections, the official and the youth competition, the thematic programs, the special events, and the short film market. Over 65 US in cash uh, and service are given to the awarded filmmakers. We are Oscar qualified and we are the first short film festival in North America to welcome a Fipre C jury. Our deadline to submit is on November 1st, was on November 1st, but I'm also working close with filmmakers, agencies and distributors to stay tuned on new stuff until late January. So, the festival also includes special projects like mapping VR exhibitions. We hold the only short film market in Quebec and we have the best nightlife in town. <laughs> uh, while most festivals offer sighting of filmmakers and film as well, uh, the population of Saguenay and the festival in town is small and cold enough that everyone stay close and spend time together people have time to connect and meet most of the guests, and I think that's what people like. Sangne, it's not only a good place to have a festival, it's also a beautiful place to shoot films. There is so many landscape uh, and typical attractions that we like to invite our guests on different local activities to help creating contacts in friendly context. The editorial line of our programming is quite general. I mean for general audience. But general doesn't mean poor for us. Our programming is rich and acclaimed by most of the guests who attend to the festival. It's always difficult to say what kind of film we are looking for, but I like to be surprised by the subject and the, arti the artistic proposal. I like films that confront our values, uh, that make us discover unknown realities. I like films that make us dream, laugh, cry, name it. I also look for short, more exploded, like out of the box. And I think they are necessary in the um, balance of for a short film program. At Regard, we pay attention to premieres, but we also screen most of the years. We also like to follow directors in their career, especially when, they when we discover them at their very first steps. In 23 years, we have screened the first film of our most famous directors like Denis Villeneuve and Jean-Marc Vallée. We also have seen the beginning of Sophie Dupuis, who will represent, uh, uh, we will represent Canada at the Oscar this year. Well, our festival is considered as a must by industry and filmmakers in Quebec, and our recognition extends more and more to the rest of the world. Our competition is quite very selective. Over the 200 shorts we selected, only 60 to 70s are, <laughs> uh, are, are in competition. So it's including international and national ones, which is both mixed in, into the same program. So it means we select not much than 35 international films in competition. What is crazy, is to have is to watch thousands of films to select only 35. So I could say it's the 35 best short films of the year, but there is so much more than 25 short, uh, best short films in one year that I like to say it's 35 premium films that perfectly fits together. For, yeah, as you can see on the screen, uh, eight prizes are given to the filmmakers. 
premieres are not mandatory to be part of the competition, but they are to get access to both grand prizes. We give priority to, produ to film produced between March and March uh, in the past year, and the film must not have been online, but I can make some, ex uh, some exceptions sometimes. We also have a whole section of thematic programs. Here you can explore with more uh, experimental films, films related to another heart, uh, like painting, photography, poetry. We have carte blanche on for from foreign festivals, focus on foreign countries, and retrospective. We also explore more engaged themes, such as the environment, politics, status of women, native nations, in fact, both artistic and social. Regard must be a bridge between cinema and the audience, and we have to defend the importance of screening cinema in theaters. Hmm. Our youth film section is so much more than a, than a competition. In addition to the six main programs screened during the festival, the youth section team is working all over the year to meet students from all ages and screen short in more than 40 schools in Saint-Nic. I will just have a... <laughs> Sorry, nice Wi-Fi. Uh, I am a short already. You can see my son. So, including school tours and festival screening, more than 10,000 children between 3 and 17 years old have been in contact with short films in Saint-Né in 2018. What is really cool is that we begin to see some of these kids we've reached in schools coming by themselves uh, with, uh, with their, or with their families to the festival. Finally, the short film market is also a big part of the festival organizing tons of events to get people in touch, discussing and thinking together. We have the video library, which gives buyer and programmers on site access to all films submitted in the year. We organize ne the networking breakfast, pitches, think tank, meet programmers, cocktails. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we also have panels and masterclass. Uh, with international and national guests like Jennifer Reeder, as you probably have seen before, uh, hundred, hundreds of buyers, programmers, and platform curators uh, from all around the world came to the festival to stimulate exchange between American and uh, European industry. So notice that we normally can offer accommodation for the first buyers and programmers that show interest in coming to the festival. Well. <laughs> Now let's just uh, conclude and recap with a quick review of what people like at Regard. They like the quality of programming and guests, inclusive but selective selection, uh, rooms for 800 people at full capacity every night, very tight organization, casual and friendly attitude, couch and bean bags at the award ceremony, nightlife and after parties, poutine at 3 a.m., Nordic spa, helicopter, well, almost everything except the minus 30 degrees outside. <laughs> so if you have questions, I know I've uh, passed my time, so. It's okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, I've, I, I think Jacopo is everywhere. Um, <laughs> And thank you, Melissa, for not showing a picture of me in the Nordic Spa. <laughs> and last but not least, we go back to Europe and to another cool country and Poland. So welcome, Emilia Magic, for Showwaves Festival. <laughs> welcome. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, last but not least, I'm really happy that you uh, all stayed here until the end. And I promise I will be really brief because I believe we all uh, want another coffee. Um, <laughs> so, yes, my name is Emilia Magic. Uh, I'm a programmer and a program coordinator at Shortwave Festival in Poznan, Poland. 
Uh, I've been working for the festival for five years now and I consider it as a great adventure. Uh, also coming to Torino is one of those <laughs> adventures, I would say. It's gonna be really hard to beat a helicopter trip <laughs> and many other things that were, were said, but uh, I think I had a little bit uh, different approach uh, to the pitch today. So, uh, Shortways Festival, um, six festival days, uh, 60 events, 300 films and 8,000 film enthusiasts. Um, that's are the numbers and figures about my festivals, but we all know that there are like hundreds of film festivals out there. At least seven decent film festivals were presented here today. So, so um, that's a lot. Um, but um, to present my festival in the best possible way, I was trying to like find an answer for you uh, um, up to four questions. Uh, first one will be, why would you submit your film to my festival? The second one would be, uh, why would you get an accreditation and come to Shortwitz as a festival guest? The third one uh, would be, why would you collaborate with us? And the final question would be, why would you follow us on our social media? So, um, how does it work? It doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, which one should I press? This one. Okay. <laughs> no presentation for me? Oh, <laughs> what's the issue? Oh, no. Okay, so which one? Which one? That one, but very hard. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sorry for this. Okay, so just uh, to very quickly tell you uh, about the city of Poznań. Uh, it's a city which is uh, halfway uh, between Berlin and Warsaw, so it's a very convenient um, city. It's easy to get there because we have an airport and a, very, a lot of like Lufthansa flights, so it's easy to <laughs> get there. Um, so yeah, let's start with the first question. Why would you submit your film to Shortways Festival? So um, um, we warmly invite all the uh, filmmakers, producers and distributors to submit their film to our festival. We obviously have an um, international competition, national competition and also theme competitions, which I think I consider as something very unique. So the first theme competition is called Dances with Camera and uh, we focus on films, uh, we screen films which are basically uh, dance films, uh, choreography and any films that um, underline the physical aspects of human existence in this world. And the second um, theme competition we have is called Urban View and represent films which are about architecture, design, city planning, uh, um, any sort of film which actually um, screen city as not only the background of the film but also the could be a possibly a main character. Um, but what we are looking for in particular are basically rather experimental forms, I would say. But of course, a good storytelling is always welcome, as well as some honesty visible in every aspect of the film. Um, so actually, the, our deadline for submissions for the next edition was um, two weeks ago, but uh, I'm really open to uh, talk to you um, afterwards to maybe get some links or then you, you could also avoid uh, the screening fee. So I think it's a great opportunity uh, to be here. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, that's about the submissions. Um, if we accept films under 30 minutes, uh, from um, second half of the year of 2017 for the next edition. But the official deadline for the next edition would be for the 2020 would be June uh, 2018, so save the date. Uh, the second question was, why would you apply for accreditation and come to Poznań as festival guest? So first of all, it's for free. And second of all, uh, we also uh, provide our guests um, free, free accommodation, food, drinks, as well sometimes we also give you a travel grant. So I think uh, it, it's very convenient uh, if you are uh, like a fresh festival goer, you don't get that many invitations <laughs> uh, as some of you, then I think it's a nice option. And also we guarantee you, like as I mentioned, six days, 60 events, um, panel discussion, um, industry events for the last two editions. We were hosting also European Short Pitch, so a great co-production forum. 
um, as well as festival party, uh, parties, a Vivid Festival uh, Club and many other films, things. Uh, but what I really like about my festival is the size of it. It's definitely not overwhelming. We are not can or anything close to it. So you will have a chance to meet everyone in person, to uh, get really close to festival guests, which I uh, think is, it is really nice. Um, but actually, of course, it's uh, much easier to come to a festival when uh, you act when we actually collaborate together. So uh, why would you collaborate with us? Um, about 85% of our program uh, is international, so believe me, we need to get the content from somewhere. So we love program exchanges. Uh, we are super happy to, to prepare tailored ter tight, um, programs for other festivals or special events, because I think we are a festival which is really focused on uh, event cinema. Uh, we are also happy to uh, do any sort of like marketing exchange, catalog ad swaps, but actually what we like to exchange most are the ideas, so please let's communicate, let's stay in touch. So that's why I would recommend you uh, to follow us on our social media, uh, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. We are not only uploading uh, content which, which is like behind the scenes of the festival, but also we share a lot of news from social, uh, from uh, short film circuit. So it's nice to stay in touch with us. But that was sort of obvious, um, like all this information, I think we, you know the short film festival format, but I think all of you may have one more question in your mind, which is actually, why would you think that we are special? And why would you uh, bother to come to short film festival? Um, what we really value is an added value to all what I mentioned before. And since I think I have like three more minutes, um, then I would like to pitch one particular special event uh, that we are organizing, which I think really illustrates uh, our idea of um, um, festival activities, which are like not so typical. So let me tell you about Random Home Cinema, which is a special event that we've been running for five years now. And it's, uh, it's, th this is some sort of like a blind date with short uh, film, as we, as we call it. So basically every January, so three months before the festival, uh, we uh, invite the citizens of Poznan to apply with their private apartments, with their houses. Um, then we, after that call for entries, we select the coolest, the weirdest, the nicest apartments. And we talk to the, the uh, owner of the apartment and we build a cinema in there. We create uh, like a space uh, for meeting, for a party. We also invite prom programmers from all over the world to program for us. For instance, Enrico was programming Random Home Cinema. I think your profile picture, <laughs> that's yours, okay. That's a total um, coincidence, you know? <laughs> Not really, okay. Um <laughs> So yeah, um, so we create the space and also what is super interesting uh, is that the ticket holders have no idea what they sign up for because we announce the address of the event just one hour before the event. So you basically buy a ticket and you have no clue where you're gonna go. Um, and yes, um, then uh, we, we send you a text message with the address, people go and there, there are films, there's, there's food and uh, sometimes the party uh, lasts longer than we would actually expect. <laughs> um, yeah, this is how it looks. So, yeah, uh, that's about it. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, as, I, as I said, uh, we are very happy to host everyone who's going to co come to uh, our festival. If you want to talk about your films uh, or about a possibility of collaboration, I'll be here until Sunday. So I'll be happy to discuss any ideas. Uh, and yes, save the date. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Emilia. Thank you. Uh.